guys i'm back with another video or if you haven't seen my videos before i'm kiana make sure to subscribe the button is down below today i am doing 20 things that i learned before turning 20. i'm doing this kind of early because my birthday is in 17 days i think yeah i had to check my board real quick but yeah but I just thought I would do this video for you guys. So let's just get into the video. Number one is it's okay to put yourself first sometimes. I'm the kind of person that always puts others before myself and that can be overwhelming sometimes. And sometimes you just need to put yourself first because in the end, your happiness should come over other people's. Number two, don't trust easily. I am not the kind of person to trust easily because I was like that before in the past. So now it takes a lot for me to open up, which is good though, because you shouldn't share everything with everyone because you can't trust everybody. Number three, staying in can be way more fun than partying. I never partied until I was out of high school and it's honestly so stupid just because like some of the people think that hooking up and all that other stuff is better than being in a relationship and yes relationships aren't always for everyone but for me a long-term relationship is what I'm about and me and my boyfriend have been together a little over two years and just being around that just I I just can't be around that I'd rather stay in with my boyfriend number four never apologize for how you feel number five coffee is a lifesaver and I feel like I don't I don't know that just feels like something an old person would say and I'm not necessarily old but I used to not drink coffee and then one day I was like bro, I'm really tired, I should try some coffee. And then, thus the love of my life was born. Number six, sometimes friends can be more loyal than family and vice versa, it just depends. Because sometimes, like honestly, my friends are more there for me than my family, but then there's other times where like my friends aren't there and so just, kind of comes and goes. Number seven, sleep is very important. I used to stay up a lot and there was one time I was up for over 32 hours and now I can't even do that. I go to bed around 9, 9.30 or 9 to 10, something like that. If I'm up past 10, that's like staying up for me. Number eight, give second chances. There are a lot of people that I, not a lot, a couple people that I wasn't friends with because of stupid fights in the past when we were younger, fighting over the stupidest things and now we're like, bruh, we're adults now. We shouldn't be fighting over stupid stuff from like middle school maybe. But then again, there are some people that I'm not friends with and I'm not gonna give second chances because it'd be more like fifth chances and everything so be wise with your number nine take lots of pictures you will absolutely regret it if you do not take pictures of a special moment because you're gonna look back and be like I wish I would have taken a picture and I'm not saying like be one of those people that takes pictures like every second that's annoying you need to enjoy the moment too enjoy the moment but also take pictures of them. number 10 don't be ashamed of something that you love to do i am a social media addict i like making youtube videos and posting on twitter and stuff like that and a lot of people think that social media is bad and that making YouTube videos is lame, but if you love to do it, who cares what they think? 
Number 11, don't be in a rush to grow up. Because growing up sucks, being an adult sucks, having responsibilities suck. There is times where I miss high school, even though a lot of times in high school I would skip school and sleep in class, but I honestly miss doing stupid stuff like that. I miss school and I never thought I would say that. Number 12, the only opinion that matters is your own because at the end of the day, you're the one that has to be happy, not the other person because you are you and you're trying to make yourself happy, not them. Number 13, don't let anxiety control your life. This is something that I relate to so much because I have a lot of anxiety. I may seem like a social person, which I kind of am, but I have a lot of anxiety. Like I actually made a video about that, but I need to learn not to let it control me. Number 14, the nicest, happiest people are usually the fakest. I know a lot of people that seem like they're happy all the time and they have a bunch of friends, but they're honestly just the fakest people out there when you're trying to film and the phone rings. Number 15, writing helps and it also makes good memories. I have learned over the past couple of years that writing helps me when I'm like mad or upset or something. And it's also good to like go back and read about what I was feeling at the time or what I was doing at the time. Like I, whenever I start a new journal, I will put the day I started and then whenever I end it, I will put the day that I ended. Number 16, learn to love yourself because loving yourself is just so important, guys. I cannot express that enough. Number 17 is read a book. I remember I don't know exactly what age I was, but whenever I was younger, I didn't like reading at all. But then once I got to a certain age, I think I was maybe like 12, that's whenever I started liking books. And then a couple years later, I didn't like them again. And then now I love to read. So just read. I'm also going to suggest a few books for you guys. If you haven't read The Fault in Our Stars, read it. It's a good book. It will break your heart. And then also Looking for Alaska. Any John Green book if you want to get your heart broken. And then All the Bright Places, which is by Jennifer Niven. I don't know how to say that. Um, but that's also... It also seems like a John Green book, but it's not, but the way it's written and it's also a sad book. So yeah. Number 18 is things change constantly. Things are always changing and you just have to adjust to it, whether you like it or not, because it ha 19 is friends come and go. I have about maybe two friends that I actually hang out with and talk to because people who are like oh I have like 20 friends or like 50 friends they're not all your friends a few of those people are probably talking behind your back and they're not really your friends. and number 20 is nobody knows what they're doing with their life so don't feel bad about it so that's all I have for this video guys make sure to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time